Well, hello everyone. I hope we're all doing all right. Let's see what my sound is look. I think we're good. Hold on, let's let, hold on. Let's. Well, all right, we're good. We're good, guys. All right. Well, I hope you're all doing okay. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today we're speaking English, guys. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. We're just Speak in English, or I'm speaking English. You guys are typing English, all right? So that's what we're doing. Um, first of all, let's start with a question. Let's start with a question. Hey, how cold are you? How cold are you? Because I am freezing. It is really cold, and, and I'm freezing, and I hope you're all doing better than I am. Um, so Ahmed says, good evening, everyone. Mohammed says, Hojam Huru. I don't know what that means. Um, then Seher says, Good evening. I have come early too. Wonderful. Um, yes, and then, okay. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Can you please translate the first verse of Dulce et Decorum est poem? I really appreciate it. Hey, Lucas, I don't know what that is, but. That's okay, because I don't know a lot of things. All right, guys. So as you can see in the, uh, the what is Achuklama? The description. As you can see in the description, you guys are going to type. You're going to either ask questions or you're going to make a statement or something. And I will respond to what you say. All right? Um, if you want me to speak slowly, put a one. If you want me to speak kind of slowly, put a two. If you want me to speak normally, put a three at the end of your sentence. Okay, guys? Okay. So, um, first of all, the first question was, how's it going? Yazarsınız. O zaman sizi cevaplarken normal bir İngilizce de cevaplayacağım. Yine bir Amerikalı ile uh, konuşur gibi sizi cevaplarım. Okay guys? All right. So, let's see what people are saying. Arkadaşlar, ben cümlenizin sonunda dedim. Arkadaşlar, ne? <gülüyor> okay. <gülüyor> okay. Anyway. Anyway. All right. So, Kuzey says, "Hello. How's, how's it going?" I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing okay. You uh you have an interesting picture going on i'm not sure what's going on in the picture but i would i would love to know all right so um and ns says god teacher i'm sorry god evening teacher you probably mean to say good evening teacher so um keep that in mind uh zahide says hi zach hi everyone ahmed says hi there today i have passed the theoretical theoretical exam for getting a driver's license yay Hmm, you called it the theoretical exam. Um, I would have called it the written test. That's what I would have called it. The written test. The uh, written um, portion of the test. Hi, how was your day? It was good. I was at home and I just, I was at home all day. <laughs> and I, I recorded a video. I released a video today. Has anyone seen the video? I haven't seen the video, <laughs> but uh, I hope hopefully you guys have seen the video. I'm going to the USA for my master's degree. Which state would you recommend? Well, Kuze, it depends on what you want. If you like um, crowded cities like Istanbul, then maybe you could go to New York or Chicago or Atlanta or something like that. If you want less crowded if you want a city less crowded then you could go anywhere so tell me what kind of place you want to go how often do we have these live lessons so Recep you're gonna say how often um 
this live lesson. How often does the how of, how often do you do live lessons? How often do you do live lessons? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I do them. Sometimes I don't. All right. Hi, Zach. I just want to ask, what's your religion? I became a Christian when I was in high school, and that's then that's I'm still I still am. <laughs> okay. Uh, my sentence was the sentence that started with space. My sentence was the sentence that started with space. Hey, Arvin, I do not understand what you're talking about. Um, so if you want to, um, yeah, you can, you can, I don't know, you can try to clarify your sentence. What is your favorite place to hang out in Istanbul? Um, my favorite place to hang out in Istanbul, I don't know. It depends on what I'm doing. If I want to like, if I want to eat something interesting, like then I need to go somewhere where there's lots of foreign food. So that would be on the European side. Maybe in like Taksim or like you know like Besiktas or something like that. Um, if I just want to hang out, then maybe like the Kadıköy Sahil or like Bostan, Jajad Bostan or something like that. Um, if I want to do something like naturey, like something like in nature, then I could go to like over here. We have Idos, uh, the Idos Forest. Or we have, you know, the other forests on the other side. Um, anyway, yeah, there's lots of places. I don't like crowds. I like country life. Okay, yeah. So you can, <laughs> you have lots of options, man. Lots and lots of options. Hi, teacher. How can I improve my listening skills? Um, well, you can listen, and that's all you can do. There's nothing else you can do but listen. So do lots of listening and check your listening by reading. You can check your listening by reading. How did you learn Turkish? Your Turkish is very good. What methods do you recommend for learning a language? Hey, I have a video on this. Um, I have a video called How I Learned Turkish. So you can go watch that video. And I explain everything in that video. By the way, hey, okay, hold on, well, I'll get there, Ahmed, I'll get there. Um, but can someone go into the description and copy and paste the thing that says like one for slow English, two for normal English, three for fast English? Can someone copy and paste that and put it in the chat? That would be helpful. Um, Ahmed is asking for a place for a first date. Well, you got to tell me what this person you're taking on a date uh, likes. Um, I assume that you are a male, and I'm going to assume that she's a female. Um, so, like, does this does she like f f weird food, or does she like weird coffee, or does she like to watch the sunset? You need to figure out what she's interested in. Um, yeah. So, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Hi, Zach. I just attended. Um, hey, you could say I just got here. Hey, I just got here. And I would like to ask, what's that? Okay, you want to ask me what you want to ask, what's your favorite Turkish meal? What's your favorite Turkish meal? Um, I don't know. I like kebabs. So I like, you know, a, a normal tavuk shish, like a chicken kebab or like a Adana kebab or something like that. Um, I like everything. I eat everything. So my wife makes awesome Turkish food, and I eat all of it. <laughs> so it's great. Recep says, Zach, our company gives help. Yeah, our company gives help workers to learn English. Our company helps uh, workers learn English. Lessons online or live, which one do you prefer? Um, I think live in-person lessons would obviously be better, but they're not always practical, especially if you live in a big city like me. I live in Turkey. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I live in Istanbul, um, and it is always crowded, and it's always hard to get um, to, to get around. How oh, should I act and respond when out? How should we act and respond when when we're out, like outside the house? I don't know what you're 
referring to. Um, could you clarify your question? Could you make your question a little more clear? What should I do to improve my accent? Do lots and lots and lots of listening and then try to replicate what you hear. Like there's nothing else you can do. Um, um, what's your take on Andrew Tate? I don't know anything about Andrew Tate, um, but I, I hear things on YouTube that make me think he's probably a strange person, but I've never, I've never, I've never actually watched any of his material. I just hear people talk about him. Do you play video games? I do not play video games. Um, so I cannot answer this question. I'm sorry. I have another question. How can I stop? How can I stop thing native language? Are you trying to say, how can I start? Oh, okay. okay. How can I stop thinking in my native language? How can I stop thinking um, in my native language? Which uh, you, I don't know. <laughs> so you can kind of pr practice talking to yourself. Maybe you can practice talking to yourself. And I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you can do. I'm sorry. Um, so here we go. Uh, how do I, can I copy this? I can't copy this. Why can I, what? What is, hold on. How do I, how do I pin this? I'm going to pin this to the top. What, what is, what is this? Okay. I, I, I, th I thought I could copy this, but apparently I can't because I'm unintelligent. Anyway, thank you, Ahmed. I'll, I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out, man. All right. So. Jose says, you are an excellent resource for those who want to learn English. Thank you. Oh, well, I'm glad you think so. How should we act and respond when our friend asks us a very annoying favor? Um, I guess that depends on if you actually want to help your friend or not. Um, if you want to help your friend, maybe you can inform them that this task, this this favor is really annoying. And you could say, I'm going to help you, but don't do this often. Maybe you could say something like that. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the live stream. Thank you so much, man. I'm really glad you're here. I'm really glad you're helping out. Um, so here we have Berkant. And he says, I decided to play acoustic guitar. Do you have any suggestions? suggestions for me uh, who have never played guitar. Okay, hold on. So I decided to learn acoustic guitar. Nokta, Biukarf. Do you have any suggestions for me um, as someone who has never played guitar before? As someone who has never played guitar before. Um, you need to... Practice every day of your life. Practice every day forever, and you'll be really good. That's all I can say. So you can practice, you know, finger picking. You can practice your scales. You can practice your, your, your weird chords, jazz, soloing, whatever. Just do it every day. Whatever you do, do it every day. Angle Kurt. Okay. Hi, Zach. How's your life? What have you been up to? Um, I've been doing the same stuff I do every day. I've been, um, you know, working, giving English lessons. I have been um, playing guitar, playing kanun. I have a kanun over there. It's really cool. Um, <clears throat> anyway, it's the uh, same stuff I always do. Very good. Uh, good evening, sir. What is Turkey? Interesting, different culture for you. So what you mean to say is like, what about Turkey is interesting um, or different for you or something like that. That's what you wanted to say. Um, a lot of things in Turkey are very different from America. A lot of things in Turkey are kind of the same as you would have in America. Hold on one second, guys. Different culture for you. So what you mean to say. Okay. Um, yeah. So, yeah, a lot of things are the same. A lot of things are different. What is really different? Oh, I don't know. Like maybe... People put a lot of emphasis on like appearances, like like how people are looking at them and how people are understanding them and, and stuff. 
we do that in America. We just do it more here. So I I'll I will like do something, and my wife will be like, "Don't do that. That's that's that's that's you can't do that." And I'm like, "Why not?" She's like, "It's you can't do that." And I'm like, "Explain." And she's like, "No, you you just can't do that." You know. Um, so that is uh, that is different. Yeah, I can't. I still can't copy this. I have my phone right. That that's me right right there, and I'm trying to copy this stupid thing, and I can't. Anyway, uh, maybe I can. Maybe I can at least pin you to the top. No, no, I still can't. Okay. Anyway, I don't know what's going on, guys. I'm I'm lost. Hey, Umult. I hope you're doing all right. Color issue. I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know either, man. I used to do it right here. Um, what if I can do this? No? Okay. Uh, well, only Zach can do it. Well, even Zach can't do it. Uh, all right, here we go. Is there a perfect solution to the I can understand but I cannot speak problem? Hassan, most people who say I can understand but I can't speak, they, they can't actually understand. Like they can understand enough to get by, but they don't actually, usually, they don't actually understand everything that's happening. Um, so what you need is, um, I don't know, like, for example, when you hear something, can you repeat it back? Can you repeat it back word for word if it's, you know, short enough? If so, then you probably understand. If not, then you probably don't understand it as well as you think you do. And guys, I think I think I've got it. Yes. Okay, I have pinned the message to the uh, the top of the uh, the chat thing. So we're we're we're moving on up, guys. We're doing great things. You're really good at Turkish for me. Oh, well, thank you. Who's like, which state of the USA did you live in? I lived in Florida. Uh, I lived in a city in northern Florida called Jacksonville. It was a city of about one million people. Okay, and he says, I have American friends, they have accents, but your accent sounds more international to me. Um, on YouTube, I typically speak very clearly and slowly. Um, I do not sound like this when I am making jokes with my friends in America. I don't sound like this. I sound less educated. <laughs> I sound less educated and, uh, and more ignorant. Okay, <clears throat> what's the difference between commit and perpetrate? I mean, commit is is a much has commit has a much larger range of usages. Why are my hands not? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so, like, you can commit a foul in a, a basketball game. You can commit a crime. You can perpetrate has a much more narrow uh, usage. Perpetrate is typically just for like a crime or something bad. Really good Turkish for me. I wonder if you interest. I wonder if you are interested in other languages. Not really. Right now, I am dabbling, dabbling <laughs> in uh, two other languages. One of them is Turkish Sign Language. Um, I'm just I'm slowly learning Turkish Sign Language, just very slowly. Um, I can have like very basic conversations and stuff. Um, and I also want to learn to read ancient Greek. So I have an application on my phone, um, and I'm just slowly learning a little bit of ancient Greek. Um, but nothing nothing crazy. I don't have a lot of time. What's the best way to learn new English words? I think you should just read stuff and... Um, Learn the words as you come across them. That's what I think. But what do I know? All right. What is your background as an American? Is it Italian, Irish, or something like that? I have a little bit of German floating around somewhere. Um, 
but it's mainly English. So a little bit of Irish, a little bit of German, like a little bit of like Swedish or something, but it's mainly English, mainly normal um, <laughs> English, uh, like UK. What is the most difficult word to pronounce in Turkish for you? To me, strengthen is one of the most difficult words to pronounce in English. Um, there are a lot of words in Turkish I can't pronounce. Typically, words that have an R and like two vowels on the end of the, on the on either side. So like, um, oh, here's a word I can't say. So there's the word sudumek, and then there's sudurumek, and then there's sudurulmek. And then there's Sudurulabidir. Sudurulabidir. I can't say that. Um, I can't say it at all. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I hope you guys can can say that word better than I can. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to find a new piece to play piano. Nokta Biukarf. Do you guys have any ideas? Um, if you're asking me... Um, I don't, I don't really do classical music. Are you asking about like a classical piece or are you asking um, like, like, like a modern piece? OMG, would you play some condom for us? It's my favorite instrument. Um, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's over here. I don't know if you guys can see it. There it is. There's the condom. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I can't play it right now. My microphone is right here. So, I don't think you guys would hear it, but anyway, it's a uh, it's pretty fun. It's it's like guitar and piano at the same time. It's pretty cool. Um, all right, I need to go faster, guys. I'm sorry. I need to, I need to go faster. Hi, I have I have a problem. I didn't say uh, R. How can you fix it? Because it's so. Are you talking about the pronunciation, like the, the pronunciation of American R? Um, I I it's. You, you just have to listen and then try to pronounce the sound that you hear. Um, there's not really much else you could do. Um, I don't know what this is. I couldn't. I'm sorry. Hi. Uh, in what situation can we use the phrase, hold your horses? That means, like, don't go too quickly. Like, pause, reflect. Don't act too quickly. Hi, Zach. I'm 15. What is your advice for improving my English? Hey, hey. I have lots of uh, videos about this. So I have I have an English called, uh, I have a video called English de Nassel I have a video called Nassel Turkçe Öğrendim. You can look at those. Um, hey, expert gamer, please stop pasting, copy and pasting the same question over and over again. That would be awesome. Would you make a new storytelling video? I really like your story time playlist. And I think these videos are so useful. I'm out of stories. I really am. Like I don't I don't have any more stories to tell you guys. <laughs> They're all out. So good on. Hello, Zach. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm glad to hear I'm glad to see you here. I spent a lot of time learning English grammar, but now that it's on and over and done with, I don't know what to focus on in order to improve my English further. Should I memorize more words? No, I would suggest finding like a video on YouTube that's challenging and just listen to it and understand everything. You know, learn all the new words, all the new phrases, uh, and just listen to it until you understand absolutely everything. Zach, as I heard, your wife is from Kahraman Marash. Is that right? Uh, does she, was, was she affected by the earthquake that occurred last year? Some of her relatives lost their homes, yes, um, but no one lost uh, their, their life. So, we had some some. <laughs> I've, I've said this in Turkish like five times. I've never said it in English. We had some property damage, but we didn't. No one lost their lives, so that uh, is good. What color is your hair? My hair is brown. See, brown. Um, Ahmed, thank you for becoming a member. I just uploaded a video, so you can go watch it if you care. It's an exposed video, but don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody what the video is about. Um, have you thought of making a guitar course that includes basics, the basics of the guitar or advanced levels? I have thought about it, but uh, I don't know. I um, I don't know if anyone would care. <laughs> I don't know if anyone would listen to it. Joy Sem. Joy Sem. 
joysem. Uh, I'm not sure how to say this, but I but speak English for what I can use GTP. Um, speak English for what for why can I use? Are you asking mini story for question to answer? Is that correct, Joysem? I don't I don't understand your question. If you're asking about how you can use Chat GTP, be Chat GPT. Um, you can like write sentences and ask. You can ask it if you wrote it correctly. You can ask it to correct your sentences and, and things like that. Um, so you can use it like that. If you were to be asked the question, which is that what's been the most perplexing occurrence gone through by yourself here in Turkey? Um, Lucas, you need, so if you were to be asked, uh, so, so this, is, this is a weird sentence. So you could say like, if you were to be asked this question, what would you say? What has been the most perplexing occurrence, um, the most perplexing thing that you've gone through since uh, by yourself here in Turkey? Um, I would say maybe getting married um, because the, the, legal, the legal part of getting married as a foreigner in Turkey is just insane. Um, you need so many stamps. Just so many freaking stamps, just stamps galore. It's it's it's pretty crazy. Furkan, thank you, thank you. So Furkan has gifted uh, twenty memberships, so twenty people can go watch my new video. <laughs> um, otherwise, the video comes out on Friday. But don't tell anybody what the video is about. It's a secret. It's a secret. Okay. Um. I'm watching you with my family, and my daughter wonders your hair color. Her name is Yusra, and we all say hi. Okay, hey, Hassan, my hair is, is, is brown. In a second, I will show you a picture of my, my hair, okay? I'm going to show you a picture of my old, uh, long hair, okay? Okay, so hold on one second, and we'll do that. Do you love reading books? Which have you been... Which books have you been reading right now? Your book suggestions. I usually read books for review. Yeah, so I used to read a lot. Um, I kind of stopped when I came to Turkey because I had to focus on other things like learning Turkish. Um, but I read a lot of philosophy, or now I do audiobooks mainly. So I listen to a lot of philosophy, theology, history, anything that makes me smarter that is uh that's the main goal is anything that makes me smarter okay guys so listen someone asked what my hair color is so we're going to go over here and i'm going to go to share screen and we're going to go over here and we're going to go over here all right so if you go on google and you type in my name you get this kid this kid with the long hair this guy that's me this guy, this kid right here. here. Here he is. That's me. I don't know if you can see me very well. No, no, stop. Okay, anyway. So that was a, that's what I looked like back in the day. Okay, here we are. Hey, bro. Good to see you, man. I hope you're doing all right. What time will be that it was a Zoom lesson? Uh, no one else responded. I guess we can do, I don't know, like Friday night maybe. I don't. No one responded. Like I said, hey, when do you guys want to have a lesson? And no one said anything except for you and one other guy, and that's it. So I don't know. I guess it'll just be me and you hanging out on Zoom. I guess I don't know. Thanks for the cut. <laughs> okay. Um, Bane and video a lot of bro uh, Yes, guys, if you could like the video, that would be awesome. Hey, Zach, it's really funny to communicate with you on this platform. When you say funny, do you mean fun? So funny would be like comic, like ha ha ha, so funny. Fun would be like eğlenceli. So did you mean funny or fun? Hocam benim üyelik neden gözükmüyor? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea um let me know if you can't figure it out but uh i have that has i don't know it says you're a member oh yeah you did become a member okay cool thanks man thanks for becoming a member 
What does the word mean on the poster behind you? The, this thing or this thing right here? I don't I don't know. Th this one up here? I don't know what you're referring to. You said poster, but there's no poster behind me. So I don't know what you're talking to. Any piece goes for me. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know one piece? I have heard of it. I don't know what it is. Zach, you ever read a Turkish book? If you did, what was the name of it? Did you like it? Um, I've never read like a Turkish novel. I'll read like other things, but I've never read like a like a Turkish novel. I'll read like scientific stuff or <laughs> or stuff like that. Yeni the dim. Well, thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, Zach, just got here. Is there a specific talk topic we're talking about? No, we're just talking. Um, my my initial question was, are you cold? And then no one answered it. Uh, so now people are just asking random questions. Um, so you can ask me a random question. Uh, and if you want, you can, I don't know, try to use some weird English phrase that you, you've learned recently or something like that. Einstein. Um, okay. I watched a YouTube video recently about the U.S. healthcare system. Just calling an ambulance cost uh, 1,200 USD. The U.S. by uh, the U.S. is by far um, the richest country on earth. Why do regular citizens? What do regular citizens think about it? Yeah, um, the American healthcare system is a pretty bad, <laughs> as far as I know. Um, I'm not a professional. Um, I, I like I, I don't study this stuff, but yeah, people are pretty uh, not very people are not very happy with the American healthcare system. And, but whenever someone tries to like reform it, people on more like the political right side of things, they typically don't like um, you know the government getting involved in stuff. So I would imagine that um, people on the left kind of want to change things, and people on the right probably want to keep it the same. But I'm not sure if that's true. Um, yeah, I might have just completely lied to you, but that's okay. Someone asked my hair color. Someone asked, what is the difference between both sentences? I don't, I didn't get it clear. Yeah, so someone asked my hair color. You could say that. Someone asked what my hair color is. So you, you need a what in the second sentence. How old are you right now? Hey, how old am I? I'm sure someone knows how old I am. Go ahead, guys. Let Vikes know how old I am. I think that you that it a Zoom lesson will be next Sunday night. Um, you could say next Sunday night. Maybe, maybe. I need to make like a, uh, I don't know, like maybe like a, like a, what is that called? Uh, Discord, like maybe like a Discord server or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna put up a thing on um on YouTube. I'm just gonna put the link on YouTube, and whoever attends will attend. And that's uh, and that's it. That's okay. All right. <clears throat> I am cold, not right now, but when I go out, it's freezing here in Kojele. I used to love winter, but it's getting worse and worse every year. Yeah, well, actually, so do you think the wind? Do you think the weather is getting colder every year? Like, I would have said that the weather is getting warmer every year. Uh, what do you think, Eden? Do you think it's getting colder every year? Have you ever been to Bursa? I don't think so. Um, I've been to a lot of places. I don't think I've been to Bursa. What are some of the culture shocks you've experienced since arrival to Turkey? Um, I never really had culture shock. I mean, cultures are different. That's not shocking. I'm not sure why anyone is shocked about that. That's, <laughs> it, uh, it's, it's not shocking that cultures are different. What inspired you to learn Turkish and move here? Well, I, I moved, well, so I, I learned Turkish because I lived here, because I was living here. Um, I, I moved here initially to do like a, like a kind of internship type thing. Um, and then that I extended that and then that went on forever. And then I said, Hey, I'm just going to stay here. Um, and then I got married. <laughs> so, so now there's, now there's, now there's no escape. All right. Do you know speechify? 
I took a demo lesson today. Teachers are Indians and fees are suitable. Teachers have Indian accents, but not too much. So does it make sense to take a lesson from them? Hey, man, if it's helpful, do it. Uh, I mean, when it comes to pronunciation, yeah, you might uh, benefit from having someone who is not Indian. Um, but yeah, if it's if it works, then it works, man. So if you if it if it's better for you to take English lessons from Indian people because it's cheap, do it, man. Do it. All right. And Hassan Fati Fati says, "Sorry, I meant fun." Okay. Yeah, and I don't know if your daughter saw my hair. Did your daughter see my long hair? What What did your daughter? It was your daughter, right? Did I Did I remember that correctly? Uh, hold on. Yes, yes. So did your daughter see my hair? What's her name? Yusra. Hey, Yusra, did you did you see my long hair? Did you like it? I had really nice hair, didn't I? Okay. So um, are you a coffee person or a tea person? I am a water person. Um, I don't really drink a lot of tea or coffee. I don't feel the need to drink tea or coffee. I don't like just wake up and like, you know what I need? Coffee. Like I, I don't say that um, ever. But I do. So I do drink coffee for the caffeine before a workout. So before I go to the gym, I almost always, um, well, if it's in the morning, I almost always drink coffee in the morning before I work out because it has effects on the on your workout it has positive effects on the workout and i just need to wake up a little bit um but i don't drink it just for the flavor or just for the for the caffeine because i mean it's it's, it's just not necessary man i don't know i'm not sure if it's getting colder or warmer but the main problem is that it doesn't snow nearly as much wait hold on winter is all about snow to me it would snow for weeks. Nowadays, it's plain cold, no snow. Okay, so you think if it snows, then the cold is a good thing. But if it doesn't snow, it's like a waste of cold, right? It's it's it's useless cold. <laughs> is is that is that what you're saying? Like if it's gonna be cold, it might as well snow. Is that what you're saying, Eden? Is that what's going on? If so, what do you do in the snow? Like I'm from Florida, we don't have snow. In Florida, we have sand, you know, so <laughs> I, I'm interested to know what people do in the snow. Um, it's not that it is a necessity to wake up a bit more. It's a bit more like a source of enjoyment. Okay. I mean, if you like the flavor, go ahead. Yeah. Um, great. I just, it smells good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, coffee definitely smells really good. And if you put stuff in it, if you put some sugar and some caramel and some stuff in it, then it tastes really good. Um, yeah, I don't drink just, I don't like just plain coffee. Do you like watching any sports, any sports? For example, soccer, basketball, baseball, fighting, your favorite. Well, I, I like watching American football. And I know none of you have any idea how American football is played or, well, most of you. Um, but it's a very strategic game. It's like it's it's it's both violent and strategic. It's perfect. It's a perfect game. Um, so I like to watch that. Um, when I'm at my wife's family's house, her brother always has a, a soccer game on. So I, I watch soccer. Um, it's not really that fun to watch. I don't really think. Um, but it's whatever. It's it's it's I, I will watch it with my. Uh, what is, what is he? Is he my... What, what, is, what is my wife's brother called in Turkish? Is that... Is that Bajanak? No, is that Enişte? No, I'm Enişte. What is he? I, I don't know what he's called. Hey, what is my wife's brother called in Turkish? What do you, what do you think why Turkish people cannot learn English very well? Um, you could say, why, why do you think that Turkish people struggle to learn English? Why do you think Tur Turkish people struggle to learn English? Um, English is very different from uh, Turkish. And it's really, there's a lot of uh, irregularities in English. So that's probably why people struggle to learn it. 
No one typed how old you are. I know. No one cares how old I am. <laughs> you shouldn't care, but I mean, it's okay. You, you can, I mean, you can pretend to care. You can, you can care if you want. Is it important? Is, is thinking about grammar important when speaking English? Um, maybe like if you're just starting out, yeah. Um, like you should form your sentences grammatically correctly. Like you should totally do that. If you have to think, then think. And eventually you won't have to think. Have you done calisthenics in your life? If you did, how many months did you, and did you like it? Uh, I've never done like a calisthenics program. No. Um, I do pull-ups. Um, I do sometimes like um, explosive pull-ups or, you know, um, I'll, I'll do dips sometimes, rarely. I'll do dips. That's it. That's pretty much all of the uh, calisthenics that I do. Kain uh, Oh, huh, Okay, yes. So I will sometimes watch uh, soccer with my Kain Biradet. Okay. <clears throat> if you could learn a language instantly, what would it be and why? Well, like I said um, earlier in the stream, right now I'm learning sign language. Um, and I'm, I can like have a basic conversation, but I would love to just be perfect. Like right now, that would be cool. Because um, I have some, some deaf friends and I would love to, to be able to speak more with them. Your wife's brother is called Kayan Birader or Kayan Sho. I never, I don't think I've ever heard of Kayan Sho. Um, hi from Afghanistan. Have been following you for the past two years. You're amazing. Just wanted to let you know. You are you are you Afghan? Are you Afghan? Afghani? Um, are you from Afghanistan? Um, if so, then how how do you know about me? <laughs> A lot of my videos are in Turkish. Do you speak Turkish? Um, yeah. So th th let, let us know. How did you uh, how did you find out about um, me? Also, I have a, I have some Afghani friends. And I have been to a couple of Afghan restaurants, and I, I gotta say, I like your stuff. I like I like Afghani food. So um, hopefully you can you can have me over sometime. Exactly, that's how my childish brain works. I used to play in the snow as a kid. The atmosphere gets better when there's snow. The atmosphere gets better when there's snow. Okay, interesting. It's authentic to see. It's authentic to see it snow through the window next to your bed. Authentic? That's probably not the word you're going for. Um, authentic? Um, are you going for like, uh, are you going for like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what you're trying to say there. Authentic is probably not the word you're looking for, Eden. Um, hey, Eden, explain to me what you're trying to say and maybe we can find a better word for you. Hello, my name is Mujahid. How's it going? I'm doing good, man. Um, yeah, just hanging out, talking, talking to people, doing, having fun, all that stuff. Do you like listening to music? What's your favorite genre? Um, genre. I don't have a favorite genre. I just like good music, you know. So if it's a well-written pop song, I like it. If it's if it's an amazing classical piece, I like it. If it's a blistering guitar solo, I like it. But it has to be good. It has to be good. I'm sorry. If you can catch it, you can touch it. I, I, I don't understand. Okay. <clears throat> if the health care is that bad in the U.S., how do people get medical treatment? Is medical insurance provided by workplaces? Oh, is medical pr uh, insurance provided by workplaces common? Maybe that's a solution. Yeah, a lot of people have... Um, Sigorta. What is it? insurance? <laughs> a lot of people have insurance that is uh, uh, connected to their workplace. So that's a very common way for people to get health care. Um, but yeah, if you don't have if you don't have insurance, you're you're screwed. Like you just you just don't just don't get sick or you'll die. Um, what is the best way to improve understanding? The best way to improve understanding is to understand. Um, I'm sorry, that was that was a stupid thing to say. You need to practice. So you need to listen to stuff and try to understand it. And then when you don't understand it, listen to it again. And then listen to it again. 
What languages do you know besides Turkish and English? I don't know any other languages besides Turkish and English. Yeah, she said your hair. She, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, she likes your hair and said that it's really long. On the other side, she likes that style rather than the long style. Oh, so she likes my current hairstyle better than it being long. Okay, I understand. Well, I do miss having long hair. So Barish Ilgen says, you look 29 or 30. Okay, what do you guys think? 29 or 30? Do you like to drink? Uh, no, no. Drinking is expensive. And uh, yeah, I'm an athlete. There's no need to put useless calories in my body. Um, can you broadcast live every day? No, I can't do that because I don't have time. But... Um, we, I can do, I do it once a week right now. So I usually do it on um, Tuesdays. I was trying to say something along the lines of beautiful or magical. Yeah, so magical is, is cool. Magical, um, mystical. No, don't, don't say mystical. But yeah, magical. You can say magical. That's pretty good. Authentic is, is different, man. Yes, I'm from Afghanistan. My na native language is... My native language is Turkish. I love your videos. They're basically right to the point and educational. Um, as compared to all the other so-called teachers here on YouTube. Yeah, well, I mean, there's a lot of good teachers on YouTube. There's a lot of bad teachers on YouTube. There's a lot of bad people in the world. It's okay. Nothing nothing crazy. Um, what's your favorite place in Europe? Hmm, that's a good question. My favorite place in Europe. Well, I've only been to one, two, hold on. I've been to Germany, Austria, uh, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, Czechia, the Netherlands, Macedonia. I've been to seven. Um, I've been to seven European countries. Macedonia was really pretty. Um, Macedonia was really pretty. Czechia was a cool. So Prague was a cool. There was. I like the city of Prague. Switzerland. I'm going with Switzerland. Uh, the Alps are incredible. Hi. Gaze. I'm not sure what we're going for. Did you mean to say guys? If you need to say, if you meant to say guys, you need a U, a U, there. Otherwise, it could be misunderstood. You said I listened to well-written pop songs. Do you like Dua Lipa? I think her voice is amazing. I don't know who that is, but you can send me a link on Instagram, and I will maybe check it out. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a lot of spare time. Where do you live? I live in Istanbul. Have you ever pretended to not know Turkish in order to avoid, say, unwanted situations in Turkey? Absolutely. Yes. Oh, my gosh. It's amazing. <laughs> yes. Um, don't tell anyone about this. But anyway, I'm not going to say that. I, I can't say that. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> I was about to I was about to to, to to to tell on myself. Hello, I'm a student in at university. After studying in university, I went through a master's degree in America in America or England. I don't have enough money for this. What can I do? Well, you can earn some money. Um or you can try to find a job in America or England and uh, try to work as you do it. But yeah, you're gonna need some money, Esma. You can't, you can't do this for free. Are you married? Yes, I am married. I have, a, I have a wedding ring right here. I don't wear it all the time, but it's, it's right here. Um, <clears throat> when will your channel hit 1 million subscribers? My channel will likely never hit 1 million subscribers. Um, I've been, yeah, I've been growing very slowly over the past um, couple, probably the past year or two. Um, yeah, it'll probably never get to a million. That's a, that's a bit of a reach. What is your favorite football team in Turkey? Well, you see, I don't actually watch soccer, um, but when I first came to uh, Turkey, I lived in, in Istanbul. I lived in Kadıköy. Um 
And so I was always in Kadukuri and I was always hanging out in Kadukuri. So I naturally became a Fenerbahce fan. Um, but I don't actually watch the games. Or I watched the game the other day when Fenerbahce played. Um, who did they play? Gaziantep? Antep? Yeah. Um, I watched that game with my Kayin <laughs> Birader. <laughs> but uh, that's it. I don't. I don't actually watch the games very much. <clears throat> Which cities are marvelous in the U.S.? Well, it depends on what you like. Do you like nature? Do you like, you know, big crowded cities like New York? Do you like areas with lots of trees and mountains and rivers and stuff? Do you want a place? that is more fast paced or do you want a place that's more relaxed? I need to know what you like. There's a lot of upcoming metal concerts in Turkey this year. Some of the bands are Megadeth, Scorpions, and Ju Judas Priest. There are rumors about Met a Metallica concert as well. Do you plan on attending one? Judas Priest? They're still alive? It's been 50 years. <laughs> How are they still breathing? Um, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, I don't have plans on attending any of the concerts, but, uh, maybe, I mean, that would be fun. Oh, what's your, oh, I'm sorry. What's your profession? Um, in school, I studied music and music business. So I, uh, I do a lot of stuff with music. I also give English lessons and I make a little bit of money on YouTube. Uh, Zach, I don't know if you have kids. If you have kids, what would you... If you had kids, what would you name them? Turkish or English names? Um, I like to... I like to... I like for things to be very meaningful. Um, so if I have cute children, their names will be very, very, very meaningful. And no one will know the meaning except for me. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I have a couple of names in mind. Um from history some people have done great things in history um from literature and things like that from certain places uh like the place names um but i want names that are uh understandable in turkish and english um my wife says that if we have a girl she wants to name the girl lavin and i'm okay with that because in english lavin is a name you know, that, that's a common name, Levine. It's, oh, I'm sorry, it's not a common name, but it's it's a name. Like People understand it. Um, yeah, so I would be totally okay with that name because it's, it's workable in English and Turkish. Did you do, do military service in the USA? What is your thought about the military? You don't have to explain because of <laughs> any legal situation. Uh, no, in America, we do not have mandatory military service. Um, in America, the military is paid like you, it's a job. Um, and only people who want to do it, do it. Um, it's you, it's usually people who like, um, I shouldn't say usually, sometimes people who can't find a job, they'll say, well, I guess I'll go to the military, you know? Um, so it's a lot of that. Uh, but some people, they, they want to do it, and they do it, they, they go to college, and then after college, they go to the military, and they make lots of money in the military. But uh, I think that's a better system, um, but I don't know much about the Turkish system, so maybe there's a logic behind it that I don't know, that I don't know about. I want a s system of a down to come to Turkey, but probably it will never happen. Um, I don't know, is system of a down still touring are they still together i haven't i haven't heard anything from them in quite a while do you guys plan on moving to the us at one at uh do you guys plan on moving to the us at one point i would say at some point at an at some point maybe if and when if or when you guys have a kid yeah i mean we're thinking about it right now we can't move to america because the geniuses at the american consulate didn't give my wife a visa um, so we couldn't go to the U S uh, we can't, we couldn't go to the U S like on a tourist visa. So now we're applying for a green card. Um, and they haven't responded. So <laughs> right now we're kind of stuck in Turkey, uh, which is okay. I like living here. It's fun. It's crazy. It's exciting. Um, 
if I were a kitchen tool, I would prefer to be a spoon. What would you want to be? Hmm. If I were a kitchen tool, what kitchen tool would I be? Maybe I would want to be a cookie cutter. A cookie cutter. Because a cookie cutter takes that which is normal and makes it interesting and exciting. I just made that up. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that did anything for you at all. Anyway, hey guys, if you are enjoying this particular video, this particular live stream, or if you benefit from my YouTube channel in any way, I would really appreciate it if you would like the live stream, guys. Just write down, no, there. You can like the live stream right down there, um, and that would be helpful for me and my channel and a lot of other people who uh, might find my channel uh, and, uh, and benefit from it as well. Actually, they don't tour anymore, but they have a concert. Concert. They have a concert in Las Vegas. Okay. Yeah, they're getting the. They're getting kind of old. Everybody's getting old, man. Uh, bad cunts. I suppose you're a, a male. I, I said man. Daria Sonmez says, "Would there be more story time videos? And are there times when you get bored or don't want to?" talk when you meet somebody who speaks English slowly? Um, so first of all, I'm out of stories. So I would love to make more story time videos, but I'm out of stories. So you're going to have to uh, forgive me for that. Um, yes, I mean, when someone speaks English very slowly, yeah, it can be difficult to speak to them. But if I don't speak their language, I have no other option but to listen to them. It's really, really difficult when a Turkish person, <laughs> when a Turkish person insists on speaking English and they speak very, very slowly. And I'm just like, guy, we could totally speak Turkish. It's okay. We can do it. Um, yeah. So that's, uh, that's something I have to do with a lot. Actually, you indicated the wrong spot while you like seeing the video. Oh, really? So is, is it over? Is it over here where you like the video? Or is it over here? Is it over here or over here? All right, so let's do it. So you can like the video over here. Okay, guys? Thank you for that. Who's your favorite person in history? Um, oh, I don't know. Maybe the Apostle Paul. Maybe Martin Luther, maybe Ataturk, maybe, I don't know. Uh, there's so many people in history. <laughs> um, St. Patrick, I don't there's so many people. Um, what kind of jobs that don't require a bachelor's degree can you recommend in the U.S.? Um, I would not suggest trying to get a job in the U.S. without a bachelor's degree or some sort of like education or something, because um, there's a lot of, cause I, yeah, you need something to make yourself different from everybody else. Um, how many hours does the broadcast last? I'll probably go for another 10 minutes or so, um, and then we'll be done. Mandatory military service is a thing here, but that's for a short amount of time. Being a soldier as a profession is... I think similar to the U.S. You attend military school to become a Shubai. Um, or is it Subai? Is it Subai or Shubai? Yeah, it's Subai, right? Yeah, anyway. Sorry, sorry. I, I, I mixed that up. Um, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, so just in America, we don't have the mandatory part. Um, so, Hassan says, Zach, have you ever seen the Florida man? I am the Florida man. Um, my, my friends often accuse me of being crazy and not, you know, not caring what people think and doing stupid stuff. So yes, I'm a, I guess I could be a Florida man. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, Zach, do you know the Kurds? My wife is Kurdish. So yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so like I said, you can like the video and you can subscribe to the channel 
If you have any other questions, you should probably ask them very quickly because I have reached the bottom of my of my question list and now I'm just sitting here talking and saying random things in hopes that someone will actually ask a question at some point in the near future. Okay, we got a question. Here we go. Burak Tombas says, what do you think about Turkish history? What do you think about Turkish history? And I'm looking at your... Uh, I'm looking at your picture here. Is that like a music studio, Burak? Do you work in like a like a music studio or something? Because I I have a I have a, a friend with a studio as well, a pretty professional studio that I use to produce music. So, Burak, let me know if you work in a studio. Um, yeah, yeah, Turkish history. Like, if you're talking about the Ottoman history, I don't know much about Ottoman history. Um, if you're talking about like the Republic. I know a little more about that. Um, you know, there was the Ottoman Empire, then the Ottoman Empire fell, uh, fell and then there was like the, uh, the what is that, Ishkal, um, the occupancy era, and then Ataturk came along and he, you know, he kind of transformed everything within just like a couple of years. It's a really cool story. Um, yeah, I like it. I like Turkish history. It's fun. How does Turkish sound to non-Turkish speakers? What language would you like? Would you liken it to, as far as phonetics go? I don't know because I speak Turkish. Um, we could ask my mom, maybe. You want to do that, guys? You, you guys want to do that? Here, I'll have my uh, I'll have my wife speak to my mom, <laughs> and then uh, I can ask my mom what it sounds like. Do you play video games? If so, what video games? No, um, I don't play video games, but you can, and it's okay. Okay, we have someone saying, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do. Um, wonderful. <laughs> okay. It's a rap studio. Oh, okay. I don't do any rap music, um, but yeah, I do I do a lots and lots and lots and lots of music production. I have, I mean, I have music crap just everywhere. Um this is my microphone. Yeah, right there. <clears throat> um, have you seen the GTA 6 trailer? It's going to take place in a fictional place called Vice City, which is heavily inspired from, inspired from, I get inspired from, inspired by, inspired by Florida. I think inspired by is the better, um, what's the word? Uh, what's the word? What's the word? What's I can't think of the word. I can't think of the word. Pre, pre, uh, preposition. I think by is the better preposition. Um, that game might make you feel like you're at home. That like your home. Um, Vice City. So like, so GTA has been around for a long time, and Vice City was the name of one of their older versions. One of the older versions of the game. So is this the same Vice City, or is it like a different Vice City? I don't really uh I don't really know. Haha, <laughs> it looks like a game studio, right? Um I are you referring to this person's Oh, so like with the big screen, you think the big screen like looks like a like a game like a gaming place or something? Maybe, I don't know. Um do you like receiving gifts or giving? I like to give thoughtful gifts. I don't like to give just like random gifts, but I like to give really thoughtful gifts. Um, I don't know if I can, are there any gifts? I gave my wife, no, I can't, that's too far. Anyway, yeah, I like to give really thoughtful gifts. What do you prefer more? What do you prefer more? Question mark. Eating pot? Eating, well, you could do a colon there. Anyway, what do you prefer more, eating pasta or pizza if you were in Italy? Um, if I was in Italy, I would probably try to eat pasta. Um, pizza is a, is, is, a, is a fairly American thing. Modern-day modern, modern day pizza, as far as I understand, is, is pretty American. Um, so I'm not sure if, if I need to eat pizza while I'm in Italy. I could just eat pasta. pasta. I don't know if you're going to be... I don't know if this is going to be too personal, but how did you meet your wife? Uh, we met at church, so that's uh, that's where we met. Vice City is the fictional name for Miami in the GTA universe, but is it the same Vice City 
So it's the same Vice City as like what 15 years ago or 20 years ago, not 20, 15 years ago or whatever. There was a there was a Grand Theft Auto Vice City when I was a kid. Um, so is this just a different um, version of the same thing? Yasmin, mean you are funny, wonderful. I haven't joined your Zoom meetings. Can anyone who is yeah in this channel join? Do I need to be good at English? Uh, yeah. So if you are a member of my channel, you can uh, you can you can watch my videos early, and I plan on having a uh, a chat with my my my channel members here pretty soon. Um, so if you want to do that, you can become a member. Um, yeah, you can become a member. Uh, no, you don't have to be good at English. You could even speak Turkish. Hi, teacher. How are you today? I'm doing all right. You're right. GTA Vice City is... Oh, it's 2002. Okay, that's 22 years ago. <laughs> I, had to, I had to look at the date. Um, taking place in the 80s. GTA 6 is another game coming out in 2025. Also clicks... Okay. Okay. I understand. So it's the, the time... Uh, of the setting is different. The setting is different because it's not taking place in the 80s. Okay. Could you tell us your three favorite movies? I haven't watched a movie in years. Like 10 years. Maybe 15. <laughs> I don't watch movies. I hate... I, they, they, they take too long. They're so long. Two hours? What? You want me to sit? And do nothing for two hours? That's that's crazy talk. Anyways, hey guys, you're all wonderful and amazing people, especially my channel members. Thank you, Hassan. Thank you, Fati. Uh, thank you guys for helping me out and supporting me. But I gotta go because my throat is starting to hurt, and I should go drink some water. Thank you, Betacunt. Um, <clears throat> so thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for hanging out. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you were able to um to learn something zach does the membership level matter for the zoom meeting no no um so hopefully this was helpful for you guys hopefully you can learn something i will see you guys later have a good week have a good weekend and enjoy the rest of your night guys take it easy bye